Hello everyone, my name is David Sepulveda and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel where it's all about having that platform for me to be able to express myself creatively, talk about personal development, and review cool stuff. Are you ready to get into it? Let's go. In today's video, I want to share with you an app that always encourages you to remember life's little moments through building a habit of journaling. And that app is called Day One. Now, I have been using Day One for a little over four to five years as a digital journal. And in the capacity in which I've been using it is to just take pictures of life's little and big moments and jotting down a few notes. Now, over time, it's come to replace a lot of my paper journals as being my number one journaling device because of its accessibility. Like many, my main journals were paper journals, um, different notebooks like uh, the bullet journal system, full focus journal, full focus planner, as well as the traveler's notebooks. I've tried many different styles of, of notebooks throughout time and there's nothing like using pen and paper, right? There's something about putting that pen to paper that really allows you to let your thoughts flow and spill out on the paper. Over time, I started noticing that I started running into barriers, more like self-imposed barriers where I'd be like, I love this notebook. However, you know, it's new and I don't want to write in it because I don't want to ruin it. Or it's a situation where I've been writing in this notebook and I've been in through, I've been using it for about a month and then the new hot journal comes out and I'm ready to just put this one aside, go buy the new one and start using that. I don't know if you've ever been through that situation, but that's happened to me a lot of times. I use these structured journals where, you know, they're based on the 90 days, like the full focus planner. And if I miss a week or maybe two weeks, I think to myself, wow, I just wasted all this time using this journal. I basically messed up my journal. Now I gotta scratch that and start over. Don't get me wrong, I, I, I love using paper journals. And the only problem that I've had with them is when it comes to recalling information or even just being consistent. I feel like when I mess up, I gotta throw that journal away, go buy another one and start all over again. Don't get me wrong, I still like to use my notebooks um, as journals. I've just transitioned to using day one as my primary journaling notebook. The major reason for this is that day one, the day one app is a journal that is with me everywhere I go because it's on my phone, it's also available on the iPhone, Android, uh, Mac platform, sorry Windows users, I don't believe there's an app for you. But my main point is that it's accessible. Um, I could take it with me everywhere. And that's something that I've struggled in the past with is that I don't always take these notebooks with me. Even though they come in various sizes, I just don't always have them on me all the time like I would with my phone. And that's what makes journaling in day one so powerful. And though it's not a big deal for me to be able to carry a notebook around with me, I realized that my preference for journaling was on the keyword capture. And that is where day one really shines. Now, before I jump into talking about all the different ways you can capture your moments into day one, um, I wanna mention a few things about day one that you should know. First thing is, is that the app is free to use, but it's better with premium. Um, with free, you only get access to uh, one journal, one device, one photo per entry. You get to use templates. Um, you can use it offline, and there's other features that you get as well. Now, with the premium, what you get is everything that's included with the free version, plus unlimited journals, syncing across your devices, photos, videos, audio recordings, voice to text, and secure cloud backup. You also get an Instagram importer, so that way you can uh, capture and record all of your Instagram posts and it just goes to day one. Sorry, you can send emails to your journal from Gmail or whatever email uh, client that you're using. It allows you to embed PDFs scan documents to PDF, and you get end-to-end -end encryption for privacy. So even though you get good value out of using the free version of the app, um, as with any software, if you are using it as part of your daily system or your productivity system, and it adds tremendous value to what you do and to how and helps you be more productive in life, I recommend paying for it. You know why? Because that $35 is what it costs annually but that's a small fee for something that's storing all of your precious thoughts and memories. Now, with that being said, let me talk about some of the other benefits and features of day one that I think you may like. 
Now, day one also allows you to view your journal in different ways, such as a timeline view that shows you your entries by journal, year, month, and day. There's also a calendar view that shows pictures from your entries, a map view showing the locations where you have captured your entries, and a media view displaying the different ways you have added content to your journals. Day one provides you with more than just journal entries though. Automations from IFTTT, which stands for If This Then That, where you can automate and automatically import from Spotify, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Day one also gives you access to all the metadata collected by your phone, such as time, date, weather, your step count, for that specific time where you put in that entry. You also get Siri shortcuts and the ability to share from other apps into day one. Then there's another cool feature that I use every day, and that's the templates function. So you can customize different templates, or, or I like to call them journal prompts, for you to use throughout the day. And I think that's a very powerful feature because it helps set you up for recording those thoughts into the app. And I think that's very important because you can ask questions such as, you know, how did my day go? What's the biggest lesson that I learned today? What are my three big wins for the day? So there's all these different prompts that you can customize and use daily through the templates um, feature in the app. Now that I think about it, day one is like the ultimate journal. It's more than just words on a page. It allows you to capture your life in different formats, in different ways, and allows you to do so both private and securely. Okay, now let's dive into a few of the different ways to capture those precious memories with multimedia, and I will save the best for last, so you're gonna wanna hang around for that. Number one, rich text formatting. Just open the app and start writing. Day one supports rich text formatting features such as multiple headers, bold italics, underlining, as well as different fonts. You can add tasks, numbered, and bulleted lists. Uh, you can also use quotes for those of you who like those daily affirmations, or if you're reading books, you can put a quote into there, and much more. Rich formatting basically helps you better outline your notes and helps give your writing some character when it comes to the formatting. Number two. Capture your moments by adding photos. Use the camera on your phone or upload images and screenshots you captured to add those visual moments to your journal. I love using day one to capture memories of vacations, family get togethers, trips and activities, and then write about the experience. Day one organizes your photos into beautiful layouts within your note. It just adds another dimension to journaling that is hard to replicate using a paper journal. Number three. Add videos to your journal entries. This is one of my favorite features because there are days where I just want to record the moments I am experiencing so I can watch them when I want to. I also enjoy creating my own personal vlogs to check in with myself on how I'm doing, what I'm excited about, where I need work, personal struggles and successes. Also for tracking health, doing a before video and an after video to track my progress and weight loss and I also like documenting my stress and anxiety. Um, having those self-talks in video and putting that in my journal, it really encourages me that yes, I'm going to go through some hard times, it's going to be okay and that I can get through it. And there's nothing like a little self-talk to help you stay encouraged. There's nothing like sitting out on the porch early in the morning drinking a nice hot cup of coffee. Number four audio and audio transcripts in your notes. That's a really awesome feature. There are times when I'm driving and I have a thought that I want to record. Luckily, day one works with the Apple Watch and I can just open the app, press record, and capture a quick audio note. There are other times when I just want to use the speech to text and have day one record the audio and transcribe the audio into text so I can have both in case I want to go back at a later time or a later date and add more detail and context to my notes. Number five, use your Apple Pencil if you have a tablet or a stylus to write down reflections in the app. This comes in handy when I want to write something down. It's not as robust as using Apple Notes or Notability, but it's an option if you just want to open the app and use the scribbling text or the writing feature to jot down a real quick note. 
Now number six, scanning documents or paper notes. This is a feature that I use all the time and it allows me to bridge my love of using um, analog tools such as notebooks to write out my thoughts on paper and then I can later on scan it into day one and recall that at another date as I'm doing a weekly review or a monthly review or even a quarterly review. It doesn't matter what kind of paper notebook or planner I use because I can write things down and use the document scanner in the app to capture it and add it to my journal. A newly added feature that I haven't spent much time using is the text to your journal feature that day one implemented. And basically you tie your phone number, your journal to the day one app, and then you can uh, send text messages to day one and it'll record that as an entry. So that's just another like, quick note entry feature that day one has that you could take advantage of. And finally, I told you I would save the best for last. And my favorite number one feature in day, in day one is the on this day feature that works as a time machine and allows you to visit your memories from the past. The longer you use the day one app, the better it gets. The app will show you journal entries you have entered on each specific day going back in time. This has allowed me to revisit um, past events and memories on each day going back years. And based on the type of note that I've entered for that day, I get to revisit my deepest thoughts and mindset at that time and check in with how I was doing on that day. I was able to see different patterns in my life as I reflected back on the past. And I can't get that from a paper notebook. It's only something that day one offers. And that feature alone, to me, is worth the $35 annual subscription because that adds tremendous value. It gives me such insight into, into just the way that I think, um, the way that I do things, favorite memories that I've had, um, time spent with family. So I have all of that in this day one app and over the different years, I get to go back and revisit that and it tells you on this day, you did this, you took a picture of this, you recorded this. And I think that that feature is just, again, well worth the money. So there you have it guys. If you're looking for a journal or an alternative to a paper journal, I highly recommend the day one app. I've been a long time user of it and every year I get more value out of it and it holds some of my deepest memories. I do like the fact that it is private and it is secure. On the iPhone, I can use the, uh, the, the facial recognition feature to protect my notes. So that to me is worth its weight in gold too because people just can't get into my journal and read those thoughts. And as of today, I'm on a 130 day streak. That means I've been building up this habit of journaling daily in day one. I love this app that much and I'm excited. And now I'm like, I don't wanna break this chain. I must keep going. And the cool thing is, is even if you miss a day, you can put in an entry and go ahead and backdate it so that way it doesn't break the chain. So that's a little tip for you inconsistent folks out there. Well, there you have it. Um, give me a like if you like this video. Go ahead and hit subscribe. And I look forward to bringing you more content. Take care.